I think um, it's like it's like yesterday because I'm one of the couple who are here. It's as new as yesterday. <laughs> Thousand years to heaven, to God is like a day. Very comfortable. Yeah, Mr. My name is Felix Orom. Yeah, this is my wife. I shall say everything I have to watch. So in marriage to go now two months and uh, 15 days. Thank you, thank you, gentlemen. That was so precise. The next topic. Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Happy day. Happy My name is Felix Naur. I'm gonna come on to you. You can you can do one. Happy Sabbath Church. Happy day. 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 And um, Martha, I'm a in a semi kind of Martha with David. So David of Pembe, Martha, uh, Martha, and the Copa Moya and Sisi, like in the Osababu Sisi, so we have to kick up. Hang the half ways of one as Yapa. Mukwake will be kick up. For me, yes, we did a. Kumi na moja. Sasa tunashukuru. Amebarikiwa na mgeni. Sawa hadi sisi hapo. Hii mbuzi hujika. Ni gani? Hiyo alimjika kuru kama ni tamataji ya usemi. Enda soko kwa kasoko na kusaidia. Yeye ni kama lakini kujika mkuu ina maanisha angeza kuja. Kuna kitu kimeweka hapo za so we have heard from our couple and uh, maybe you've not told us how many years we've been married. Um, we've been married now for one, one year and uh, 52 days. One year, 52 days. Okay. So this is this is the uh, straight is not 
This is the oldest couple. This is the youngest couple in town. Just a month, a month old. So Joseph and her hand only the top bloggers. Uh, we have total on command. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. So uh, I have presented to you our, our couples that we are, we are having uh, today. And we have heard of how long they have been in marriage. Now what we want to get a little from them is the experience that they have been having in marriage so that we can learn as young people and we can carry the good ones uh, into our here after life even as we get into marriage. And of course, Zile uh, Baya Chinawaji. Now to the first, the first couple, uh, if I'm going to <laughs> so um, that is another my discussion. The, the first couple that I, 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 I ask this question, just be attentive. Now, and this is one thing that most of the youth really want to do now. And the question is, how did you meet? Now this, how did you meet? It can change a little bit, a lot. Uh, let me break it down. How did you meet? Because now, when you're answering the question, I'm sure you will clear where you met, how you spoke to your significant other. You know, like, when you tell me to find that, so uh, the first question, this first question goes to uh, Mr. Jacob Paul. Yes. Physically, 
uh, we talked, then uh, the decision that was made uh, for us to start dating, and uh, we planned for maybe a wedding, that one was uh, the same year, I think around the 20, 24th of December. So, so the, the, the meeting and uh, the time of yes. the restaurant party, yes. Will you discuss too much the guy in the store? No, 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 no. <laughs> I didn't hear, but, but I'm not just a yeah, master guy. Yeah. So, but we have friendships as a uh, we from Tulipatana to a conference for Facebook. Uh, from there to Kapuja to Kapatana. We can talk about uh, Kapatana. Now we know each other, right? Yeah. And uh, I need to get to know more about you, more about her. And she also needs to get more about me. So that was the period of in December. That's why. Yes, yeah. that, is, that, is, that is okay. It's so nice. So we can date, but uh, we thank God. Now, uh, to, the, to the next couple, this goes to uh, the couple of Mr. and Mrs. Open. Now, we just want to know his wife. At least we have been there a little longer than the rest of, the rest of us. How is how is my marriage? Mm -hmm. uh, marriage is what you want it to be. Actually, marriage becomes what you want it to be. Uh, you make your marriage the way you want it to be. It is there is no script. Akuna kuta kumbieti marriage boy. People will come with their ideas of what marriage is. What are the Kwambia marriage in Gumu? We may not have Kwambia marriage in Raisi, but where as an individual, how you relate with your wife is what matters. You make your marriage exactly what you want it to be. Oh, so okay. we thank you for the advice. But you want to know how is how is marriage? Yeah. Tell us how is marriage. See, just hear your test. Yeah, how marriage is. You want to get that back in a car. Marriage is good. It is the best thing. You know, God does not give us anything that we, that is not good. God always gives us what is the best for us. And that is why he, he set marriage to be part of our lives in the Garden of Eden. That is one of the things that Adam came up with from the Garden of Eden. So it is the best thing that you can ever have. So compare your life as a single uh, looking for this but one woman in Quake, uh, one woman Katika Dog. Compare these two lives. Yeah? Can you tell us how this side is? The way this side is better than this side, you know. If you're eleven, which side is better and why and how? There is no way you can compare it. There is no way, there is no comparison. Okay. Yeah. So there are two different worlds actually. Oh, so in general, it is just too good to be compared to the other. Exactly. Which is? It is good. How do you define good? As in, I was saying, the other is too good to be compared to the other. So, yeah. And this now with the Raulisa, here it is too good to be married. Married, actually. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Oromo, Mrs. Oromo, uh, you have been in marriage for three months, two months, and 30 days, 15. Maybe longer than 30 days. You may look yourself. Okay, so uh, since, since you, uh, you got married, what impact has this had in your life? Now, being a uh, impact, being uh, socially, spiritually, as a whole, what has this marriage, how has it impacted your life? Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, the same, uh, in marriage, uh, it is just uh, an ongoing lesson in the I tell you, because each and every day you learn new things. And uh, there is no standard of marriage in Bukha Kapila Seven. Now, if you want to, to be in a family setup, you have to follow 
is its own. Each and every one's story is totally different. But it's a diamond we need. So, maybe if you listen to the number of the marriage, I may say, uh, I am discovering new things each and every day. Because uh, you get when you live on a nearly quarter, we but when you become a person, it's not compared to when you live on a because you have responsibilities in the physical area that you have to think of someone in the outside who who find it because you have to be responsible and this is the only thing that you do. Know. And then to be a bachelor, there are many things when you have a big career that when you know me. As in, sometimes you may think that you are that too holy. Baba, we get married, we are not going to be happy for that. No. We can get married, we are not going to be happy for that. Because you may think that we are not strong in faith, and then we are not going to be clear, she is not that strong. Then we can get married, we are not that, yes, you are not that much strong. Example the uh maybe when you buy the day. But when you know one of the one they have most when you have a now and uh to not be done come all over when you come a shika, imagine that. And so you know it was always my desire that anytime you do want to get even over, you talk one of the naomba, I don't have to put your mind in the home open, you have to put it in the home. And then we can make my own group to talk until some day, and the experience in my experience in the city that any time to learn about Nuba, when I go to one of the years, I cannot play. How will my friends see me? How will my family never see me? And then the father, Bibi and Amadia, no, I'm going to be able to play. I'm going to be able to play. I'm going to be able to play. And I'm going to play. I'm going to play. I'm going to play. <laughs> so it is the best thing to get married to somebody uh, spiritually muko attached because you tell me over here over she will be there to help you and I'm saying here sometimes I don't want to go to work because I don't want to go to work because I don't want to go to work because I don't want to go to work but I don't want to uh, said, is you said it's all about the good idea of the voices of the own that you cannot speak before you play. We have to play. And so it is something that is building us, and uh, it is a nice thing for whatever you want to aspire to get from that. Don't see yourself that you are more religious. And that's why Nana is in your church who always says to you that you should marry somebody. When you marry any people, you can marry each other that. Uzikuwe Please do come forward. Uh, please introduce your legal side. One, two. One, two. Kwa majina naipa Patrick Mwema, kwa na mchumba wangu wapa, na hiyo niti nzori, kwa tuliko tumekala pali, si kuna akina shusho pale hiyo hiyo kizungu deep hawata hawata ndio namba tuweze kuongea Kiswahili ili hata wao waweze kusikia kile tunapokea
ambao wajiingia katika ndoa lakini vizungu ti tutatumia tutatumia vizungu vijana ndio ziko tu hapo unless kuna kijana ambaye aelewi vizungu shali uta ongelesha msana mimi asante asante ah tuli tulikuwa tumetoka katika familia ya Mr. and Mrs. Oromo and allow me to now take the question back to our youngest couple, Mr. and Mrs. Felix. Now, Felix, uh, I'm not, I'm not asking. I think it's my Felix, it's the two of you. I don't think Felix is the person to speak. Uh, but this is the question for you people. Uh, how did you know that this is the right lady for you to marry? What? prompted, what if united, nini ni kwenyesha nyewe, this is this, this woman. Is it God telling you now, Felix, arise and go to the last job and you take to yourself, Lord, please? Happy Sabbath. Happy day. Happy day. Happy Sabbath. And yes, sir. Bonjour. Last time I was with uh, Peter, so it was on Sabbath, the only tradition. So, I put you in the door. This is a community of my friends. Let's go on and come here. But as a community of friends, and then I found a sister. Yeah, no, it's not. Sante, mchungaji ya kuna kwa nakondomu. Halikuwa yu tulida. Kekawa. Sijiu. Hacha tupate kutoka kwa mjibida. Uliituwaje, kakomba, this is the right man for me to get to marry. This is the right man. This is the right man. Sidani watu wamesikiza vizuri lakini amesema hivi alikuwa kwanza amesema alikuwa msumbufu akiambiwa mara ya kwanza hakusema yes ati unajua ile mtu anakupenda na kupenda so ndio nauliza alikwambia anakupenda ah ni ambiwa ni kupenda ah ni kupenda ni kupenda kwamba sawa 
That's like that where you went and prayed to God. Uh, how did God show you that this is the man? You and someone to up and uh, you told God, I have no hands. Please uh, give me the hands. How did you know that? How did what? What did God show you? How did God talk to you? At a way we do again, and you need to understand my way. It is your own words. Yeah, I'm talking. Yeah, I'm talking. 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 I'm So I want I just want to say that many things that the Nakunzo are 
we should make them practical. Uh, I remember one time to talk about Makati to Kandiwa, okay, you need to have a shopping list. Shopping list, this is the qualities unatakuta in a wife or in your spouse to be. Now, uh, personally, I did that. And I still have the list up today, but a booklet in my house. So, the, I, I saw her, and immediately I saw her, I saw the qualities that I had written. Then I can refer her back for your, your list with a partner, Queen Zippo. Uh, she missed a few years, but they say, what are the partners? 70%. This is Igine. <laughs> so, when I, uh, first of all, I thought at a point and the people approach, of course, all men have that thing in them. How do you eat? What to expect? And um, I took that step. The little part of the other day, anyway, maybe organized for lunch at my place. Let me organize for a lunch, ya vijana. So I organize, I can't have vijana wote. And I can make sure that I'm a na of vijana. So she came. And um, I took her number on that day. Started to ongea, to Joanna, pole pole, pole pole. Then, before I made that decision, I met elders. I met elders, 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 I and I'm interested in quoting uh, her. So, elders were kind of like, okay, come on, you can you listen in any way, you can you listen Apparently, you're telling to people, you can you listen in any way, So, I told elders, elders that they only ask me, okay, okay. It's okay. You can go ahead. I also sought opinion in my fellow youths, the journey before now. What do you think about her? How do you know her? You know, I. So, I'm going to take a look at that. 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 I approached some mothers, I approached some mothers, I approached some mothers, I approached some about her. You know, if you want to know someone better by the way, it's good to report that we see one of our elders, Elder Jabuya and Elder Wanjara. We report twice all that. So I, I tried to make sure that I also follow the steps Missouri. I approached some mothers, I approached some about her. And what I have told you, we have been to grow adventurers, pathfinders, ambassadors, size to know more. We have been to and she is a good lady. She comes from a good family. Then, come on, Nana Akosawa, you go ahead. So that is how we started. And um, we have been Katia, literally Katia, in 2017, June. And um, by then, I had uh, stopped being a youth leader. So 2017 to the 3rd, 2018, 2019, we purposed to get married in 2019, December, but things did not go as we had planned because of some other unavoidable circumstances. 2020, we still were in courtship, and up to August of 2020, it's when we got married. So I can say, practically, we dated for three years before getting married. And um, it was not, it, it's always uh, having challenges. By the way, you know, the problem with us is that to keep on a challenge, to double up a relationship, you dump them and move on to another person. That is uh, one thing we, we, we fought so hard. Because there were challenges. Sometimes if we have a point to say, I watch a guy. And actually, if we go to the Chanda, who see who likes that, who see who protects, but the other people, by those who are in the video, not very involved. And as we put it together, especially as we put it together, we are going to be a little bit. 
unajipata unapiga simu hiyo ni yale umelala aje and you move on and you continue and that is how we used to handle the issues ah uh, nilikuwa nampeleleza na kumpiza box na kupeleka lunch mahali town na mdanganya na kumpiza box na kupeleka dinner <laughs> So, we want to make sure that people are not going to be able to do it. We want to make sure that people are not going to be able to do it. We want to make sure that people are not going to be able to do it. We want to make sure that people are not going to be able to do it. So, we found a way of sorting issues throughout our courtship. And in the Tusaidia, that is the reason we ended up with the marriage. Thank you, thank you so much. You know, I know, I know your wife, so I'm just trying to imagine her tone. To me, what time was it? Okay. So, uh, the, the, next, the next question, this is a free question. I'd like to uh, make a couple strong in Christ's words. I want to see. Uh, there is this mostly, mostly, Jen, kuna kuna hii notion ya yeah? uh, okay uh, if you in case you're taking this step you want to go and tell the elders now remember as the lady put it he did not uh, approach the lady first but he sought what answer sasa uko ni kwa ni tata sasa nikata alafu tutaenda nyingine nikifika hapa watano wenda so utakiona as how you my my dad uh, look at me and you know sometimes this could discourage you from uh, involving your parents or the elders uh, before umetafuta. Uh, so what is your advice concerning the same? The issue with... Uh, okay, first one, then we talk about the self. When you see that, um, I didn't really do that. Reason being, there is some form of fear that if I go and tell these people they are going to talk about it, that's shameful. It's there. So there is that fear. We don't want to spill this, this thing to the people. But we just want, like we told my parents, and they told me not to find Just take your time, pray, and do your best. I didn't tell any elderly person in this church. None. Because of that notion that if I, if I say it, or if I tell them, they will start talking about it all over. But then ours were very secretive. Very secretive. Until the day that I proposed to her, I was really quiet. So it depends with, the, with, the, with how you are interacting with the, with the elders or with the church members, or with the people who are catering in, in the church. It really depends. With, how we relate and how you are free with them. If you are somebody who is uh, conservative, you won't do that. But if you are somebody who moves out and talks, you are free with everything. That one is okay, you can do it. But to me, I didn't do it. So it, it depends on how you relate with the people in church. Okay, thank you so much. Allow me to bring Karina. Because of that title, I'm sorry. I'm not the one who will you. But you are elder. What is your advice concerning the same? Um, okay. What I can say is that we all can normally make mistakes. And uh, the worst mistake that you can make is ending up with a wrong person. That is the worst mistake that you can make. It's good uh, before you decide to settle or to court someone know that person well. Now sharing is caring, and sharing is knowing. The more you share out, it's just like preaching. The more you preach, the more knowledge you, you get. Even in school, the more you share the knowledge you have, it's the more you get knowledge. Now, the more the people that you share with, you also need to be very careful, the people you choose to share with. Like I say, I asked, I went to the youths, some of my young uh, men, Nikawa about this lady. Who may be more interested? 
So, when they can hear some funny things about her. So, when I realized that these people are also interested, I did one here and Nisawa do, I'll do my more research about that. So, it is good that you know the kind of a person you are asking. Again, the reason as to why I, I ask these women, you also need to have mother figures around. There are people that you need to... You, yes, we have our parents, but our parents will not know the lady you are dating. The parents... No, the people that could be knowing her better are those people who interact with her on a daily, uh, daily events, maybe in church or in the neighborhood. So, uh, choose the people that you know, maybe you are on a relation, they are maybe neighbors. Neighbors are good sometimes. Yes, sometimes they are bad, but they are wrong information. Uh, elders. Elders are good people. You know what? An elder can see in someone you will not be able to see even if but an elderly person will look at someone and tell you no this one now that come up on a characteristic relationship so it is important that at least you get to know this person Maybe through the people that are around, maybe church, elders, or the mothers in church, they can be of good help also. Thank you, thank you so much. So, uh, the advice is it's good to, to, to talk to people. But allow me to, to go back to, to just on a light note. He's not answering any question. But he mentioned that these people will start talking, I don't know, elders of the Brazil. I don't know whether you took note of that. Maybe he was just trying to tell you to check your steps. Anyway, this is a question. This is now a free forum for questions from the congregation to these uh, couples that are ahead of us. Uh, there are some things as a young man, there are things as a young lady you wish to know of uh, before you get into marriage. Uh, you can raise them and ask. Uh, so, if you have that question that you want to ask, that thing that you want to know about, this is your time. Please just raise your hand up, and the microphone will be brought to you, and then you ask the question briefly. So, anyone with a question, let me see by the show of hand. Okay, there is no one. And make sure I am seeing your hand. If you are not seeing me, I am not seeing you. Okay, I am seeing a hand. Let's take the microphone to, to him. Any other hand? We don't want to ask about questions. Okay. Good evening. Uh, my name is Andrea Devon. Andrea Devon. Uh, my question goes to Cuts across, like how did your financial adroitness or your financial business that is weakening and uh, progress affect the decisions you are making towards your marriage? Let's speak up with you. Okay, I'm asking this. Yes, I need just have one, one couple. Yes. Uh, praise God. Okay. Uh, I'll use my personal experience uh, in answering that question. And uh, when I was planning to get married, I didn't have a job. Actually, Kaziyangu ni hadibika, ile kazi kidogo ni kwa nafanyi ni hadibika venye COVID ingia. And uh, that is the time when we answer and where we are housed. And uh, towards the end of it, even after marriage, after the wedding inside the marriage, 
even after now virus ya pata kazi now what am i trying to say uh, through my wedding the wedding that uh, had in last year december i saw the hand of god because uh, most of us i know that question uh, it also used to disturb me a lot that in the family harusi na sina pesa na one uh quote and quote harusi nitaje pesa wiki uh, number two, as the head of the family, I need to feed my, my family. But uh, I realized that uh, Kumbe, we are the people who make and put barriers in our lives. Uh, we stagnate in our plans because of our thinking. Um, I think I only uh, collected from our that is collectively from our pockets up to the budget that was required for our wedding I think we only gave out less than 5,000 everything even though this is important that's a story for another day but uh, one thing that I have to say uh, money is the way we check up the two of you, the husband to be and the wife to be. Nini wawili, mukikubaliana. How you will plan your things. I remember going to Pasa and uh, even the way we, we always think that uh, Pasa was a daily person. Uh, Pasa was telling us that the only thing that you want from you is your commitment. We okay? don't want anything from you. And uh, even and everything. We didn't use it, we didn't use a lot of money by the way. Uh, so take out the issue of money from your planning. Akuna si kwenye utapata pesa. Let me tell you one thing. Ukitaka kupata kazi, ama ukitaka kukua na pesa ndi uwole, you hit 50. Badu na kakuta pesa. Because sahi ni chumi kwa mbae. Sahi the jobs are not there. But one thing that happens is when you put everything before God, when you allow God to take you through, then at the end of it, everything will go on successfully. But the most important thing, let me tell you, it is we don't need to have a white wedding. We don't need to you impress. Uh, Pastor was telling us that uh, your decoration, your tenants of it, that is not for you. In fact, Pastor was telling us, once you are ready at the uh, at the, 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 the Val is ready, that is uh, my, my wife. When you and Val are ready, I'm just okay. Stuck here at the beginning, what do you say? It's just flowers. It's not impress people. So, the most important thing, uh, Ama, one of the things that uh, most of us always do, we invest so much in impressing people. Like uh, we always say, that if you want a beautiful wedding, do the garden wedding. Impress people. Find a reception when you attacker. Have big cars. Uh, do everything. Make it to be colorful. But if you want a divine wedding, just ask your pastor. Just talk to your spouse and don't have any expectation. Let me tell you, if there is a last Sunday we were pastor uh, in a certain wedding and the pastor is so and Sema, it is only through weddings where we see miracles. Me, I saw the hand of God in my in my uh, in my marriage and in my wedding. Up to now, even how we survive, it is only through God. How we do things, but favor has been coming unto me each and every day. Nili pokuwa kijana, nili pokuwa kwenye kumeita, nili pokuwa kofi kwa niti. Bachela, I used to even struggle to pay rent here 2,500. I used to struggle. I used to, yeah, that is <laughs> I used to struggle a lot. I used to struggle even to have something to eat. When you are in your night table, now when you are on side, you are not two different people. That is true. Right? <laughs> That is true. I'm not working and I'm not working. Right? 
even the kind of clothes that I used to put on. It is totally different. You see? So, uh, what, I'm, what I'm trying to, to say, uh, let money not be hindrance in your decision making. First, allow God to come first in your life. What the second thing is the kind of the person that you are marrying. Very important. Who you go to when you a war? Is this person coming to beat me? Or yeah, because yeah, he just put up with criticize. Now he just put up so much uh, for me in that which I cannot afford. Very important. So those are the things that you should be looking at while you are dating, so that at the time that you are making a decision that this is the right person that I'm, I'm going to spend the rest of my life with, you will know that this person is going is going to add value to your life. Thank you. Happy Sabbath. Uh, I have something to add. Uh, this one is mostly for ladies. Ukiwa, you are in a courtship with someone. Don't really depend so much kwa kwa uyo ukiya na kwa na waswa na usot by the shell. One thing I want to also get to guide out. This is what I used to do with that.
fast every friday ni kuomba na fast siku na kula friday kuomba tu Mungu anikanie ansaidie kwa ile ndoa atakapoingia ataweza ku ataweza waambia so ni kuomba mimi siko na ati nasema nitapanga harusi sikinda kwa pesa wapi nilipata ndio nilikuwa nayo ndio nilienda nikakuje wazazi hiyo ingine yote hiyo ndio pola nasema madoa do hiyo natakanga hiyo Mungu ndiye alijibu maombi true friends kila kitu friends my friends ndio alifanya hiyo maneno yote hata chama ni hapo hapa the last day friday Friday, Sabbath, Sunday ni hapo siyamu. Kwa walo wa tulikuwa mene ya waka nisaidia na gari, wako na chukua simu. So ni kuruti ni kiyomba mungu. But on Sunday, walo wa likuwa kwa siyamu wa yona kwenye kukua. So, na jari kukusema ni, kuwa mwaminifu kwa mungu, kwa mungu, kwa wezi kuwa kikundili, yu koi pande koi pande bado hapana hautaweza kwa tu spray ya mume kwa kwa life na kwa kwa na Mungu atakuonekania there is this issue of past which every one of us has a past so some of you were in dating relationships before marriage some of you you never had relationship some of you have very black past what's that black past now is it is it okay to share your past with your spouse or your wife is it is it okay to share that is a a pretty question uh, and, and allow to be in a skeptical point our our beautiful wives are not answered can i ask just a question yes. top of that why should you ask about so, so that is already an answer thank you so far that is an answer any other person who has an answer thank you i'm looking at the two ladies the two files happy sabbath happy days happy days okay according to me and to share my the my past with my happy now na i was the boy because before before i met him hmm, i know i had a boyfriend just to be open senior ladies so kwa na boyfriend then unaona this stuff like kuna hizo mahika na jambo unaona by that time eh hey, nataka mwingine akupa pale sio ladies tunajua na tafuta mwingine akupa pale ili ile ile utunguko na ifanye nini ni boy eh so by that time eh nikamkuta so i met a very kind man a humble man for light one eh apendi kuongea so nikishia na ye no ne je eh ya bio bibi kulia hiyo itai wewe nikaona yenyewe hapa nimepata nini nimepata mtu Mungu amejibu nini maombi yangu so me to share my past with my hubby he kina kuja kwa sababu ngine na kuja niko oh mashona yani najikuta tu nimeongea tena na niambia ai hata mimi nilikuwa na yingine ya Thank you so much. What is your view of that attachment? What is your view? Let's pray. Ina is a same way. Najua, na isa kwa nifezi kijana. Usiwe na mutu, alafu na mchezea. Una mburo, una, una, yani na muata na kidoni. Iki tu nimepiti ya mimi. Nikiwa tu nimepitia kwa 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 na nilikuwa na kidonda kidonda 
Lakini hasa sana ya kwamba hiyo nilikuwa nachitakia kwa sababu gani? Mimi nilienda kinyume na mapenzi ya Mungu aje. Niweza kufurahishwa na wasichana huko nje, nikaona msichana si msabato akani akanipendeza, akanifutia na kumbe ni kumbe sijui Mungu ni anataka kunisomesha jambo fulani kwa sababu kwa sababu wakati nilikuwa kijana nilikuwa na nilikuwa naomba sana naambia Mungu naambia Mungu naomba Mungu mimi sitaki kuwa kama my dad sitaki kuwa kama watu wengine ati come to stay no nilikuwa maombi yangu nilikuwa naomba ili Mungu aweze kushuhudia Mungu mwenyewe aweze kushuhudia aweze kushuhudia Mungu yule itawa ya do Najua nikikupatia nafasi So nasema ya kwamba niliona mkono wa Mungu na mimi nilianza kuomba Mungu Mungu nikiwa 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 primary nikaambia Mungu nikaambia Mungu kwa sababu Mungu nataka niwe mtumishi wako nataka uweze kuniandalia mtumba wakati wangu ukifika hivi hata naambia nikaambia kwa mke wangu niliamka asubuhi nikaambia Mungu enough enough stay kwa peke yangu nataka kaa nataka Mungu uweze kunipatia ule mtu ulianza kuniwekea na nikaanza kutoka ilikuwa siku ya friday nikaambia Mungu naomba Mungu ule mtumbo uliweza kuniumbia naomba niweze kumuona siku ya sabato na niliona mkono wa Mungu niliona mkono wa Mungu kwa sababu gani kwa sababu kuna kitu nataka kuweka hapa ukimuomba Mungu kitu katika kitabu cha Matthew kinasema ya kwamba ombeni mtapewa bisheni mtafunguliwa kwa hiyo nataka kuambia wale vijana wako hapa wanatafuta kama sasa usikia saa hii sema ya kwamba ah, imefika wakati sasa imefika wakati niolewe ama wakati nioe na mimi unaitenda gani kama ni mtume unataka anza kuombea anza kuambia Mungu ya kwamba Mungu naomba uweze kuniandaa vizuri uweze kuandaa mtumba wangu vizuri nataka mtumba wangu na hii tabia nataka mtumba hata tukiingia kondoa hata aweza hata aweza kunata aweza kunata aweza kuelekesha jina lako kwa hivyo niliona niliona mkono wa Bwana kwa hiyo na hizo wana vijana wa kwa hapa wanatafuta akina Ivan na wangu guys eh nataka ifanye kwa sababu ni rafiki yangu naendelea na mimi mimi nataka kumwambia hata wakati kundi wa wakati wa kuanza kukuomba wakati wake wa kufika hiko kuoa Mungu atamletea hata wewe hata mletea mtumba amwambie kio huyu ya tafika asante sana asante sana ndugu uliomba hiyo sabato wasikate wote wasikute yeye hapana sawa sawa unajua umefuata kidonda ya nimepoona Thank you. 
to give me, but allow me to give a chance to three couples, just take one minute, one minute, one minute, six, six. so that Pastor, do you allow me? Yes, just one minute, one minute. You will tell us what is what is your strength as a couple this far? What brings you together? Because you can stay with someone, someone's daughter or someone's son for a week. So that is, I am not trying to say to you, you are not, I don't know. But maybe you have to say this. So what brings you together? What makes you strong as a couple? And uh, someone can mention in that uh, uh, as you finish, uh, what advice do you have to those of us who are contemplating upon marriage? And uh, the first couple is uh, the couple of Felix or Robert, and uh, the, our youngest couple in town. And then we will have that. Who you mean about? Who is the man of Yes, that couple. Do that, please, Felix. So, uh, I have a question. I have a question.
is the best thing that one can have. But one thing you need to know, you need to first of all understand yourself. And Jelewa is where you need to You see, for Jelewa, the father for free, you see, you can't pay because you end up for more than that. Then I'm telling you, for free. sit down with yourself, have your committee, do yourself for your life. If you have your own house, your own, if you have your own cube, sit down with your idea. What do I really want in this life? Another thing, God first knows you. You know, people on the same match, you pray. There were times I was praying that God, come and see who you, Funga Blanco. Block it. We never do it going to be. Pray, you don't know how we can give it to no one, but we just want to do it with the great one. No. At times, you have to listen to him seriously. He moved when the young people saw. Come and see, sir. The father, the Funga. The Funga, the young people are not going to be. And uh, another thing also, and I know most of us are, are in relationship. We see for relationship, Alpha, and for a relationship, Father, the Father, in your man, I said, We see for now, who you, now who you, now who you, let me support you, then in the evening, when I'm going to move, it's a good year, what I can tell you. What can I make you see my own power? If you are really ready to get money, like you what I did today, we will talk about it in the beginning. We can tell now for a whole year, see to one of the I was just praying to God. A whole year, we will be going to the middle of the night, we will be able to understand what went wrong. You need to do this, you need to analyze it. You are your father. You only want me to be the first year so that I can rectify from that, so that we can get a position to the beginning. I don't study that part in the book and out of the book. We can hear part of the book and start my new chapter and I'm moving forward. Fasting, as you know, fast. You are fasting already. Most of the money is. For money, you have to fast. It is something that you have to do. Because we are eating in a battle that is not easy. Satan is not pleased seeing young people starting families. He is not really pleased. So we still do this, this issue of fasting, we pray together. In everything, God should be the one that is leading you. Come up on a shikaote. We have men and people whom you can confide to. Go to them, they are going to give you advice. Pastor is here. He's just a phone call. I will just talk to him. He will give you the best advice. You pray so much. It means a lot of prayer, but commit yourself that once you have got an insight there, you send up to one. Because what God is going to give me, like the way I usually say, God gave me a raw material. So it's my duty to internalize that the way it happens. The way it's going to please me and please you. And please God. That is all that I can say. Okay. okay. So what I want to add is take, take your spouse as your best friend. You know, okay. Mchukulia kama rafiki yako, rafiki yako meza mwambia kila kitu. Kiwa jini, ukiwa jiwa, ukitoka kazi, uwefurai, ama uko kazi umekwazo. Na kuja tu na mwambia, hey, baby, leo, ujaenda mwa. Na vitu zikine. So, mtaona tu, mnaenda tu kizori, barijeni, itakuwa, unapanda tu, venye mungu wanataka. So, natujue, marriage is an institution. We keep on learning each and every day.
so much for this beautiful session. Our, I'm sorry our time is up and we have gone over to the time that allow us to edit at that. But uh, we appreciate so much for this beautiful couples we have had all this way. And uh, if we need our food to deliver uh, by any, any minute, they were just picked and, and you can see the parallels that we are having all of this beautiful couples and insisting on beautiful because they all met in church. So me and purpose in my heart. Anyway, I appreciate so much for this wonderful couple and I believe and I pray that you will be blessed and you have learned from them. And uh, all the good lessons that you have learned, we will put them in practice, given as we purpose to get into the new institution of marriage. And may God bless us all till we meet again next time, if not on earth, but in heaven, in Jesus' name. Uh, allow me to invite uh, the family of the college to pray with us, even as we end the session. Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, um, maybe before they pray, I also have a question on the first film. But uh, anyway, is there anything you guys are missing being simple? Are you missing being single? <laughs> right there. Yeah. Uh, also, by the way, the criteria for choosing them is that these are our youngest couples in the district. I think since I came, these are the couples that have uh, officiated so far. And I want to thank the Lord for them and continue praying for God's favor on them. I think only one of them has a child now, and uh, David. Maybe that is why Martha is not here. How is it with the new addition? You now have a child. How is it like? Uh, okay, in the corner of the it is sweet to hold a newborn baby. Now I experience every day. Um, it feels good seeing her develop every day. Right. So it is the best experience. I see. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank God for that. So, go on up with their name. You know, as you used to say in high school, in primary school, because now I'm not there, 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 I'm at the right time of course, in the fullness of time, I want to thank the Lord for all of you. I think Patrick, no, no, it was there, and then uh, Patrick, right? Yeah, then, uh, then uh, Oren, also Valerie. I think then after that we went to Jan, Jan and Flo, then uh, Felix and uh, the boy. Sorry, Tia, yeah, sorry. <laughs> and then of course we had uh, Felix and uh, the writer, the paper for you. Um, as we come to the close of uh, our family duty of prayer, I just want to help us understand as the youth, I think all they've been trying to do, even their presence here, it was very intentional. I wanted them to sit here so that you see them, because you know them. Nibijana Wenzeli, Mumiwaona, some are younger than you. Some of them are maybe Ulimaniza Shule before them. They are not meant to give any undue pressure at all because everybody has their fullness of time, in the fullness of time, in due time, God's timing for you. 
But then I must also add this. A lot of us, we are also frustrating God. It is not always true. I to Nashinda, I to Nashinda, I so, mchoro ni gani, na kuambio unajua, tunamudia matai za mungu. Na, God has no problem with you. God already has open to us this way. Commit your plans unto the Lord, and He will bring them to what? To pass. That is what He tells us in Psalm chapter 37, 3 to 5. Do you have a plan to commit to God? What is God going to fulfill in your life if you don't have a plan? You need a plan. I think one of them said that. You need a plan that you can give to God and tell God, God, these are the desires of my heart. Sanctify them. Cleanse them. Wash them. Perfect them. And then fulfill them for me. Amen? Yes. So you need a plan. Your marriage is not going to be an accident. You know, you are not going to stumble into some, uh, you know, sister or brother and then get married. Number two, marriage is not complicated. At least, getting married is not. And I'm sharing this because some of us, we have plans, but we keep pushing them. Uh, postponing, procrastinating, because we want all the money to have a big wedding in Nairobi Central. It doesn't have to be. You know, we are to memorize the Bible here. My wife and I to make him here to another church to mend that Ugandanians. Yes, just over lunch hour. While Maliza will benediction in Asia, na si to make him kaupo. They just came forward. I walk on a net. I walk on a gown. They were just neatly dressed. While the bigger person goes out, so they came. Our vijana. I know them, you know. One was my elder at, at campus, at the University of Nairobi. It is not that they are broke. It is not that they didn't have money to have a wedding. They are all graduates. They all work. But they simply wanted it simple. Not me Ganisha, and we have just come back. Amen? Amen. Who is ready? Come. <laughs> <laughs> right. So you don't need a big wedding committee. You don't need to have a WhatsApp group in a final promotion in Mata Sasaba your secret to raise 800,000 shillings to party a Rusi. You don't have to call you know, our, our friends and, uh, you know, like in a husband, Nataka Biyaki is a bride, you know, to talk uh, No, no, no. It, it's just simple. And of course, there is also nothing wrong at all with having a big wedding. Amen? Yes. If that is what you want, fine. Then actually, like in the world, I'm about now, and if I'm a company, the budget and all that, imagine you don't need that. My wife and I, we don't charge even one shilling for counseling. We do it free of charge, and it is serious counseling. If you went out there, you'll be charged a lot. I think they will tell you. They have five. They have a whole five of the preparation we went through. They can tell you that. So it is not complicated. So for those Ambawa Nataka Kubuka, it is as easy as that. But the most important thing is not even the occasion. It is yourself. Are you ready? Is your heart ready? I shared with that this way in the course of the week. Don't there to step into a marriage to give your heart to somebody, another human being before you first give your heart to God. Amen? Amen. It is as simple as that. That will be the worst plan that you can ever make. Because the moment she breaks your heart, the moment he breaks your heart and your heart was wholly his, then truly you are broken. But if your heart is first hidden in God, Nobody can break your heart. Yes, it will be painful. Yes, you may be frustrated. But you will be safe and intact because your heart 
is in God's hands. So the first prerequisite, even before this readiness, financial readiness, emotional and all that, is spiritual readiness. How is your heart with God? Are you right with God? Because that is where your safety is. Otherwise, all of us, as the word of God says, we are all false things, broken things. And there is nothing good in us that resides in us. Our hearts are deceitful. We're reading that, Jeremiah 17, 9. And desperately wicked. Who can understand the human heart? So don't give your heart to another human being before you surrender to God. As a way of finishing, maybe I don't know if there is any question from the congregation, let me just outline quickly how the marriage process works. This is not only for the youth. This is also for our parents here. Ambao labda hauja halalisha ndoa ya. Ni raisi sana. Ni raisi sana. Nowadays, all you need to do is just sign up at the attorney general. You can use your e-citizen, right? That is what you guys did. We just apply there for a license to get married. It is not complicated. In fact, there are some counties where you don't even need to go online. Unaenda tu kwa ofisi, ni wawili, unajitokeza, alafu unandikiwa cheti cha kufanya ndoa. And I think, who went to my chapel? Who was the same day? Dan, yeah, Dan and Florence. Oh, you also went to uh, Felix uh, and uh, the Daiga. So they just walked in. I think the satellite counties, if you go to Thika office, Machakos, wow, what a communication you have to feel online. So as simple as that, how much? How much did you pay for the license? 600. Yeah, 600 shillings, yeah. That is it. Then, the other expense is to get the marriage certificate. How much? 500, right? 850. 850 shillings. <laughs> no, 500 shillings. Marriage license. 500 shillings. What do you want to get the Or 500? No, 850. Right here. Any other expense? So, all together is 1,350. Is there anybody, a couple here, you are ready? to get married, and you're lacking 1,350. <laughs> Imagine that is all you need. That is all you need. Easy if it was in Zote, you know dowry, uh, wise parents, uh, you know also these are sessions you need with parents. Wise parents will know that you are not selling off your daughter. We had a wedding, we had a couple who wanted to marry, and uh, from where I come from, Muse wanted one million shillings, not one shilling less. And you know, to Lichanga, to Lichanga, this brother, he got one million. But you know, the daughter does not even talk to the parents. Because she felt that, number one, she was traded off as an object. Number two, she felt that the parents mistreated her sweethearts. So, when it's a put of water, waka changisha pesa, waka patia mzee one million, kasema sawa, kapas, nazi. So the parents also, oops, the place of dowry, it has its place, it had its place, but now it's being abused. Now it's being abused. Where we are making my children to be commodities, it doesn't have to be so. Give your blessings to your children. They will do much more than one million shares. What yenda, as they grow and establish, what a puja, what a wajengea, what a wangliata gari, you know, I know what, you know, what our auntie was sharing you know, about a few weeks ago. You know, she got married and I have to offer dowry. They got established. She just went back and bought her mom now brand new car. Now, I'm going to get right 
hapo ni mbali hata zile wewe unakufanyia gari mtu kwa zile hapo tu maziara kuna mziara kwa hiyo hapo so amuli hapo tombe so sije kama naendea hapo market alafu but you know they be able to do much more for you if they care that you are a blessing to them so uh, speaking to our parents nasi to square the puzzle as all rights to the patients as he writes chapter 6 verse 1 he tells children to honor their parents but also he tells parents not to provoke their children to anger right here so let us support them in every way so as you buy it's not expensive at all you can have a sabbath ready very simple i think was it was it you also had a sabbath ready in a day yes i think it was a sabbath ready also quite simple but very beautiful, you rearrange the whole time, you know. <laughs> right here, yeah. I do remember that here. Yeah. So, so you can be single, up as well to Malise. Pots like here, yeah, you may go prepared for Sabbath. We will have that as the reception. Then you can decide if you want to continue with the reception in the evening. When sour. It is very simple. Not complicated at all. I think uh, as far as the processes are concerned, that is what I will explain. I would make it complicated. Ni raisi sana sana. You only need five people to be there for your wedding to happen. It is the two of you, the two witnesses, best man and the best lady, and the officiating minister. Ama wengine wote watichagua wakuje, wamekaribishwa. Amen? Kama wata weza kuja, ni sabato. Itaendelea na harusi. Including that. So, of course, we want them there for their blessings but uh, it is not mandatory. If it is possible, that is very, very okay. Is there any question, any question at all regarding the marriage process and uh, what we've had this entire week because we, I want us to be finishing uh, shortly. The advantages and the disadvantages of getting married. Maybe I will have just one couple to respond to the advantage and if there is a disadvantage, I'll just allow maybe one to Right here. Who wants to share about the advantages of getting married? That one is easy, I thought. Yeah, don't call it. Okay, right here. Uh, praise God. Amen. Amen. There are many advantages of getting married. Right. Many. And uh, one of them is mostly the companionship. Companionship. Yes. You were lonely before. And uh, you know, companionship is very broad. Yes. Uh, in many aspects. And uh, one thing that, uh, of course, you have to have advantage if uh, you choose someone uh, who is your friend. That is right. Someone who will share a lot with you. Sure. And uh, for sure, even uh, like uh, for us, since it comes to one set, we have been this way. You mean? This way, the way we get to go to it. Oh, you mean? As in, uh, we are even more than, we have been born and as a daddy, maybe. That's why I have been saying, I said, man, we become a, we are one of the other. You know, we are one of the other. With Valerie. Yes, yes. Right. It has been so nice. And I uh, have been blessed, apart from uh, that companionship, it right. also made us to make a lot of uh, strides that is uh, uh, spiritual. Uh -huh. They have been growing from one step to another. Right. And every day they have been growing. At the same time, a lot of blessings come with it. Mm. Because of that. No wonder God says, He who finds a woman finds a good thing right. and obtains favor from them. God. For yeah. sure, it is the best thing. Right. And uh, the advantages, <laughs> you cannot even mention. Because there are so many. Right, yeah. yes. Yes. Yeah. It's like the best thing become an, an Atuta Sana all the years that he was single. So maybe the only regret is why you did get married earlier. But then that was the fullness of time for you. Any challenges in marriage? Now come on, you cannot tell me that there are challenges. All you guys are all still in the honeymoon. Alright. Yes, I uh, have Disadvantage. Right. Yeah. Uh, Whoa. <laughs> hey, okay. Come on, okay, Shule. See you. 
Oh. Because if you enter in a new school, oh, that's right. the big disadvantage. <laughs> but every other thing is the best. That is right there. Yeah. I, I love the attitude. I think the whole point is about an adventure. As in, you are ready to go on a journey. That is it. So that what people call problems for you, they become a what? An adventure. They become a journey, a learning, a school where you continue learning together. I think that is quite, quite well put. Well. There is no question that the devil is attacking marriages, seriously, attacking marriages. But then, if you lay a proper foundation, you sing away to your soul, you are going to enjoy your marriage, and people will even start, you know, envying what you have here. Right. But Ivan, is there any other hand? Because uh, our time is really out. What's your hand up? What's that? Oh, the officials. Oh, okay, okay. Right. The officials here. Open up a swaddy up a mum. Very good friends. 
and she will just sit there, eh, mama meka hapo, na situ na baga kitu zetu, you know, we talk, and uh, we had no option. These were my elders, but I had to subject myself to my elders, because it was important that, number one, we set an example to our youth. You check, you, you those, uh, those who know the youth who are on us, every single time we were out, our elders knew that we were together. And very few times, maybe when we traveled to journey, funeral or something, a wedding together, but otherwise, we are having a meeting, she always had a shuttle together. The whole point is this, we are open letters being read by the whole world. And for sure, as Mama said, Mutapita Ibi, and there's nothing. Akuna kitu mgina nipaya unapani. But you see, wengina wata kwa ibu. Kwa sababu limengu, it is seriously, the, the decay is too much. Such that people are sure what they do is also what you are, what you are also doing. So let us lift up the banner of Christ much higher so that God can be glorified in everything. There is a question here that we have. How do you differentiate between a girlfriend or boyfriend from a fiancé or fiancé? What is the difference? Any of you wants to answer? Talk about the garden between this is my girlfriend or this is my fiancé. Nani aneza tsaidia yuyo ni kingereza tu wale ya wali mwa kingereza yu. Or those who call A in English, you can share with us. Right, sir. Happy summer. Happy day. Happy day. Happy summer. So, I think girlfriend or boyfriend these are individuals who are not yet planning or not yet. The man hasn't proposed to the female, right. so they are almost putting into marriage. But for what I'm saying, already they are almost there. Maybe they're already planning their wedding. So it's only a matter of time that they become husband and wife. But for a boyfriend and girlfriend, you, you're just courting for the time being. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty much, that, that would be, it's about the stages. Of course, also, culture also uh, defines this. I think you've read in the Western media. Uh, <laughs> I remember one of the head of states of one of the Western countries, they got a baby. They are not even married. So, you know, we're reading in the news that the girlfriend is pregnant. And they, their partner, they call them partners, you know, the domestic partner, girlfriend, not even fiance. So, but really, in a Christian uh, platform like ours, she's right, it is about stage. Girlfriend, boyfriend, most probably, you are at the formative stages of your relationship, still trying to understand each other. You maybe just presented your papers, maybe they have been accepted. But, uh, you know, Bado may, it's quite close. But fiancé, by the time you're saying that this is my fiancé, most probably now you're starting to bring on board the other parties, the community, your parents know, maybe even dowry has been paid, and you're in advanced stages of your courtship heading into marriage. So, very much, it is about the stress thing. Now, let me ask a question here. This is a very personal one. I don't know. Maybe it may not be answered, but let me leave that. Uh, but the question here is this, can you get into a relationship or marry somebody who is older than you or men? That is the question here. We need to have a brother here. There is a brother who has realized maybe the girlfriend is older than they are. <laughs> that is why I said, okay, maybe let's not ask. I wanted to ask, like, is there, is there any sister here older than the husband, but I realize it's too bad, that may not be the best. But uh, what do you think? The brothers who are here. Maybe let, let me ask a question to the ladies. Let me put it this way. To the sisters, can you accept to be married by a gentleman who is younger than you? Huh? <laughs> well, actually, sometimes back, you know, my wife and I had a friend 
very close friend of us. And she came and she was sharing with us, I have a dilemma. I want to get married. There is this brother that I really, really love. He loves me. But I've realized he's younger than me. <laughs> so we were asking her, so, so what is the problem? So she said that he's younger than me. So we agreed with that, that yes, then that is a problem. If already you are talking about it, you are conscious about it, then definitely it seems like there is going to be a big problem. Because that I'm here to your yote, I love to say that we will in talk, we will talk, we will talk in a Mongolia and all that. Generally, the biblical picture of marriage is the men have the headship. The headship role in marriage. Not the kind of headship yet we are our African African kind of theme of our headship. It is headship is this. And I think the way I demonstrate headship is this way. When you come into marriage, let me take the example of for example my brother Felix and Charity. When they come together, and they decide to marry, they are mature individuals. Hopefully, we want to believe that Felix has a vision about this life. He has a plan where he's heading to, and hopefully where his family should head to. But also, we expect that charity, being a mature adult, also has a vision. She has some vision on how her life should move like, and even how her marriage and family is going to look like. If two visions are not synchronized, then they become die vision. You know how we spell die vision? It is division. So now you have what? Two visions. When you read the word division, division has what? Vision. It is only that there are how many visions? Two visions. And so there is division in the family. Because the head of the family was not able to get her vision and his vision and fuse them into one. So they will operate with the vision. Two visions. They fight, they will almost kill each other. So, when we are talking about age, the biblical perspective is not so clear. We will not get an example in scripture where we have the age of all the husbands and know who was younger or older. But so long as the man is able to help the family maintain that unity, maintain that balance, maintain the upward move in the back of, maintain their spiritual perspective, maintain that worship role, then really I do not have a problem about the age. But you see, if you are concerned about this, then you are in a very slippery position. What I normally advise is that if you have issues about you being younger than your fiance or your girlfriend, then maybe you are not safe to continue because you are already conscious about it. Those who don't have that problem, they will not even raise that issue here. So that, that is what I say in principle and uh, that is not authoritative. That is the understanding that I have. Because you are simply meant to leave the family to grow, to move to the plan of God where it is. So the sisters, you understand. If your God's a brother, is able to give leadership, is able to give guidance, you know. And you remember when we were talking about the readiness. When is the right time to marry? You all agree with me that you have got brothers who are 30 years old, but they think like how old? <laughs> <laughs> they think like five, like five years old. And you'll find brothers, <laughs> a brother who is 20 years old, and they are listening to what we are saying, and we are saying, and we are saying, and we So uh, you need to look at, at all that here. Yeah. So this question, I hope that helps even in a little way. The plan of God for his family is very simple, that we can become missionary centers. We can become a light to the world. But it's only possible if we can allow God to be the main strand in our marriage.
I want to finish by leading us to consider a text. This is the very last verse in the Old Testament, the book of Malachi. If you can turn with me there. Na sasa hii ni yetu sote sio vijana pekee, but I'm talking to our youth, I'm talking to our parents, and after that, I'm inviting my spirit to come and pray for us. Closing prayers we crown this. Verse number 5 and 6, the word of God says, Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he will turn the hearts of fathers to the children, and the hearts of children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the earth with the hearts. We need a revival in our families. Marriage is under attack. Families are under attack. Even within the family circle itself, the fight, the battles are not coming from outside only. The arrows are actually originating from within the marriage itself, let alone the many which are coming from outside. We need a revival of the Holy Spirit in our hearts, in our lives, for our families to survive for our families to run, for marriages to stand every single day, every single morning. We need a baptism of the Spirit so that we can continue considering her as being of more importance than mine. It is the only way. Humanly, it is not possible. Humanly, it is not possible that Felix, you will see Jedidah to be better, to be, you know, more right than you are. That is not the human nature. Humanly we are selfish. The bowing of the spirit alone, a revival in our families, is what we need today. That is what Elijah was talking about. Revival in our homes, in our families, towards spouses, husbands and wives, children and their parents, parents and their children. That is the only way that we can produce the fruit of the spirit which can sustain marriages in this time and in this generation. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. I look forward to more weddings. Weddings are a good indicator that the Spirit of God is working positively within our history. Asante Sana. Unless there is any other clarification, I will, maybe before we pray, we can have a closing song so that we can be able to finish with our prayer. We can all stand up together and uh, let us do the song. Uh, 652 in uh, in Swahili, Bitu, Yote, and South. And we can have a chorister to lead us in our choir here with this in time.
kindness, who do not know the promoter, our most gracious and loving Father who was in heaven, what a day that you blessed unto us, O King of Glory, and what a day that you spent before thy servants, O King of Glory. We thank you, dear Lord, for the gift of the Sabbath. We praise you, Father, for the words that we've received this day, and for each and every member who made time and also came to share at your feet, O Father. O oh, dear Lord, we know, Father, that we are sinful, and before you we came with a lot of sins and sin. O oh, dear Master, we pray that you may cleanse us clean, O oh, Father, so that as we go out and start another week, we may go as Victoria people, having spent time with our daddy these particular days. Thank you, dear Lord, because it has been a family togetherness Sabbath. What are the wonderful words that we've received? What an experience that has been shared by our fellow brothers and sisters who've gotten into marriage. And oh dear Lord, as the youth to our Father, our coordinator in this day, many have been challenged in one way or the other. We thank you because of the good plans that you've always in their put in their heart. And Father, because they're going to help them to be victorious, because of Father, you've given them the spirit of victory in every way. Oh, Holy Father, in a special way, I want to pray for them in a very special way. The youth, the ladies, and the gents of King of Glory, I pray that Father, in a very special way, may you guide their steps, may you guide their minds as they make this great decision, which is more spiritual than physical. Help them, oh Father, that they may surrender at your feet. And as they learn of you, may you teach them, oh Father, thy ways. Open their inner eyes, that they may see that which they ought to do, oh Father. May you grant them, oh Father, life partners in a most honorable way, oh Father. We also pray for those who have a plan to father to get into marriage and are facing various challenges here and there. We want to pray that in the mighty name of Jesus, may you come through for all of them, O oh Father, in whatever way, whether financial, O oh Father, whether with our families who may not be understanding, or dear Lord, in whichever area, uh, area that is after they may be facing, we pray that King of Glory may you be victorious upon their lives, O oh Father. We want to pray for our mothers and our fathers, O oh Father, as they stand in the gap, O oh Father, to provide wisdom that is needed, O oh Father. I pray that, O oh King of Glory, you may fill them up, O oh Father, so that, Father, the words that pour out of their mouths, O oh Father, may be words that will be uplifting to our young men and women, O oh Father. We want to thank you in a special way for the young families that are here before us, O oh Father. We thank you for the journeys that you made them go through. We thank you for the testimonies that you have all shared this particular afternoon. And so now we commit their young families that you may cover them up, O oh Father, that you may walk with them, O oh King of Glory, grant them victory in each and every step of the way. Those who are still struggling with finances, jobs, O oh Father, we pray that may you make a way. Thank you for the blessing of children that are also going to provide to them, O oh Father. And now, King of Glory, in a special way, we want to commit each and every marriage here, O oh Father. The devil is not happy even as we share this day, but in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to call upon your name that is higher, that is mightier, that is more victorious, O oh Father, that you may settle to each and every marriage, O oh Father, that Holy Father, our fathers may be drawn to their mothers, Holy for the King of Glory, and the hearts of the daddies may be drawn to the hearts of the mothers, and the children likewise to their parents, O oh Father, spouses to one another, so that, Father, they are making love at home as his, uh, as his time, O oh Father. And in a special way, we pray that as we look down upon our families, May you smile on us, O oh Father. Open the bounties of heaven. Feed us up, O oh Father. Prepare us above all for the kingdom that you're preparing for us, O oh King of Glory. For this, we humbly ask, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.